Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Screeny. Bad-tempered, angry, frustrated, and downright peeved, Gordon Ramsay is everyone's favorite TV chef. His no-nonsense attitude often surprises the owners of the kitchens he visits, as he tears apart everything from the decor to the slop that's being served up for lunch. While Gordon is notorious for his fiery temper, he also gives praise where praise is due. It doesn't happen often, but sometimes a miracle occurs. Gordon likes the food. Let's take a look at 12 times that Gordon Gordon Ramsay actually likes the food. Before we start, make sure you hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with all of our latest videos. Look at this place. From one table to the next. Huh? <sighs> Number 12. Bazzini's Cheesecake. Gordon headed to Ridgewood, New Jersey to try and start a fire underneath the failing restaurant called Bazzini's. Like most of Gordon's visits, he was confronted with such a mess that he didn't know where to start. He asks the owner and executive chef Paul to cook him something special, and is served up cold pasta, hard chicken, and a risotto so dry that it's stuck to the china. It looks like all is lost, until the dessert comes out. Gordon apprehensively tucks into a slice of cheesecake and a slice of carrot cake, which he actually enjoys. Probably because it's not made by Paul at all, but by another member of staff who proceeds to flirt with him and tells him he has a nice butt. Either way, the cake went down like a treat, unlike the rest of the menu. Hello? Is really dandy, Moo Moo? Number 11. The Vegan Burger Gordon is an avid meat eater and has often been quoted making jokes at the expense of vegetarians. When Shane offered up a vegan dish of avocado fries and a veggie burger on Master Chef Jr., the Scottish chef was apprehensive. However, he ended up eating his words too. He was so pleased with the tasty creation that he gave Shane a high five, proclaiming that he may have just been turned vegan for the night. The avocado fries did look amazing, especially paired with that black bean burger, so Gordon probably wasn't the only one considering a diet overhaul. There were likely a few viewers at home who said goodbye to meat and hello to delicious plant-based goodness after watching what Shane pulled off. Number 10. Live TV Hit Cooking for Gordon while being filmed is difficult for contestants on a daily basis on the F word. But live filming is actually an entirely different story. At least if Chef Ramsay makes you cry, usually you'd be able to yell cut and go and gather yourself. Facing his wrath on live TV can be incredibly daunting. There's nowhere to hide and nowhere to run. Amazingly, during a live taping on one of the shows, both teams got rave reviews from Gordon. The first team, licensed to grill, served up some perfectly cooked steak with chimichurri. Ramsay was impressed with the fine balance of flavors, which is quite a shock on its own. No one could predict what came next, though. The second team were in for a treat, too. Chop It Like It's Hot served a quesadilla dish that also ticked all the boxes for the hard-to-please chef. They said lightning doesn't strike in the same place twice, but in this case, it certainly did. Number 9. The Marry Him Pork Skillet Chef Gordon is notorious for trolling fans that send him pictures of their dishes on Twitter, asking for his opinion. Usually, he tells them in no uncertain terms that they're not fit for the kitchen. But last year, he shocked the internet by praising the efforts of one woman's fiancé. User at BRabbitJack sent Gordon a picture of a beautifully cooked skillet pork loin and was floored when he tweeted back his approval. Marry him, he replied, sending Twitter into a frenzy. While everyone usually lives for his cutting jabs at poorly prepared food, it was nice to have a different reason to celebrate. Let's hope that they have tied the knot and that woman has secured herself some good eating for life. Whoa. One more. Whoa. Number 8. Just Desserts Cooking a dessert can be infamously tricky, especially when it comes to baking a cake. The temperature of the oven has to be just right so that it's perfectly cooked and not raw and doughy in the middle. Luca, a contestant on MasterChef, brought his dessert up to the judging table believing it wasn't cooked properly. I'm just not confident. I don't think the inside is cooking. Huh? 
When Chef Joe cut into the cake, it revealed the banana dessert to be baked to a high standard. Gordon was similarly pleased, telling Luca that it was quite nice. It may not be the best compliment in the world, but this is Gordon Ramsay we're talking about. If he's not swearing at you or throwing a plate on the ground, then you're probably doing okay. Voila. Number 7. Tommy Walton's Fabulous Banana Foster Every now and then, one of the contestants brings more to the table than just cooking. They bring a spicy personality, too. Fashion designer turned chef Tommy Walton was unlike anything Gordon ever encountered in the show's run, and his food wasn't half bad either. The eccentric Tommy served up an incredible dish of banana fosters with apples and bourbon cream. It certainly looked the part, but would the chef like it? It's always a gamble when you give something to Gordon, but he was sold from the get-go. He praised every Every part of the dessert, especially the alcohol, and commended Tommy for his efforts. Tommy went away with an added skip in his step. We got that amazing pate, 15% fat, short rib, chuck, and a 10% dry age. Number 6. Burger Kitchen's Second Burger Back in 2011, Gordon rolled in to help a young restaurant that was quickly sinking. Burger Kitchen, situated in L.A., had a whole lot of bad stuff going on, with the food at the heart of the issues. Gordon decides to give Chef David the chance of creating a new burger, something that owner Alan had previously denied him, and compares his work with the served-up slop the owner approves. Gordon calls the usual burgers under-seasoned, bland, and doughy, but thinks that David's dish is just juicy and delicious. At Gordon's insistence, Chef David was allowed a little more freedom in his own kitchen. Number 5. Succulent Salmon When a key ingredient is revealed on one of Gordon's shows, it's often met with a plethora of different reactions from contestants. Some are mortified, not knowing the first thing about cooking with it, while others literally rub their hands together with joy. Exactly like Christian. As soon as the salmon was revealed, Christian excitedly boasted that this was his time to shine. Usually when this happens, the contestant spectacularly fails, but not this time. He confidently brought the blackened salmon with spiced vegetables up to the bench for the chef to cut into it with awe. The fish was succulent and moist enough to blow Gordon away and earned a well-deserved pat on the back for confident Christian. Who says that pride comes before a fall? Sometimes the proof is in the pudding, or in this case, the salmon. I'm alive. I'll guarantee you'll never ever have had a rice pudding like this before. Number 4. Coconut Nice Pudding when some of us think of rice pudding, it doesn't always bring up good memories. It can be lumpy or, worst of all, undercooked, so you're eating lumps of crispy rice. Master Chef Junior's mini chef Jenna was confident in her offering of a coconut rice pudding with a mango and mint capote. And rightly so. Gordon was so excited by the flavor combo that he couldn't wait to dig in. The chef kept his cards close to his chest at first, stifling a giggle at the nervous participant waiting for his response. When he finally spoke, it was well worth the wait. Not only did he congratulate Jenna on creating a dessert that was rich and tasty, but he even let out the closest thing to a swear word you're able to say in front of kids. OMFG. The statement caused the pint-sized prodigy to burst out into a fit of happy and relieved laughter. We don't blame her. Beef Wellington. Number 3. Beautiful Beef Wellington Cooking beef is tough enough, but cooking beef in pastry and getting it right is an entirely different kettle of fish. In the first ever season of MasterChef Juniors, the judges didn't hold back on any of the challenges. The kids were immediately thrown in the deep end and tasked with creating Gordon Ramsay's signature dish. While all of the youngsters did their best, it was Troy and Alexander who came up with the goods. The golden pastry looked delicious in the studio light as they took it up to the bench for judging. Immediately getting the nods of approval from the judging panel. Gordon took his knife, cut into it, and couldn't have been more in awe of the dish, telling the two boys that he'd gladly put it on the menu in one of the top restaurants in the world. Really, does it get any better than that? It's all gonna just kinda go and fall apart. <laughs> so I don't want it to fall apart. Number two. Mama Cherry Soul Food Sensation For most restaurants Gordon visits, the kitchens are in dire need of some attention. More often than not, the food is as dire as the owner's prospects. 
In this case, Gordon was pleasantly surprised. When the chef visited Mama Cherry's Soul Food Shack in Brighton, UK, he was pleasantly surprised with the quality of food. Mama Cherry served him up a catfish goujon start that he dubs nice and light, and while he doesn't hold out much hope for the bowl of sloppy looking soul food, he's struck by how incredible it is and ends up clearing his plate. It just goes to show that you can never judge a book by its cover. Unfortunately for Mama Cherry's, it wasn't enough to save her business. Business. Number 1. Stressful Sashimi Eating raw fish isn't for everyone, but sashimi is a staple dish of the fine dining world. That being said, of course, it's made an appearance or two on MasterChef. It wouldn't be a cooking show without it. Contestants were given the task of replicating one of Gordon's own dishes, white tuna sashimi with avocado mousse and crispy platane. Hardly just something you'd whip up for dinner on a Tuesday night, is it? Christine was so nervous when creating her offering that she had to create a diagram of how it was going to go. So the tension was palpable when she took her dish up to the judges. Gordon was so shocked about how exactly everything about the sashimi was, from the drizzling of the passion fruit to the positioning of the fish, that he thought it was a joke. And the biggest twist of all, Gordon had barely anything to say. Christine will forever go down in history as the contestant that made Gordon Ramsay speechless with her food. I'm lost for words. Great job. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. And don't forget to check out one of the other two videos on your screen.